Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you so much for coming back and welcome if you are new. Please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Information on personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. There's been so many this past week, so thank you, thank you so much. Those that reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. So we can help to grow and flourish this channel into something really big, bright, and beautiful. Get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So the more you like the, the videos, uh, share, comment, subscribe, will really, really help to help the channel grow and be greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much in advance. Okay, Scorpio, I hope everybody's doing well. We're almost done summer. Can you believe that already? Getting into fall. All right, Scorpio, love connection reading. And this can be any type of connection that you're in right now, any type of connection with whoever you're thinking about at this time. So we'll see what comes out. So something in the title here might have resonated for you. So hopefully there's something in here for you. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we'll see what we get. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of a little extra bonus and the rest of the reading may be for you. So we got water that came out, which is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So your own energy came out here. But energy, uh, energy, yeah, okay, water is the element, energy, and it's very healing, it's kind of just going with the flow, um, it's about feelings and emotions, and that sort of thing, so very intuitive energy also, healing energy, so we'll see how that plays into your reading for you. So you could just be in your own energy for the first part of September. Um, you could be just concentrated on you. If you're single, just being in, you know, energy of just self-love. Or there could be something healing. 24, 6, for water here is a very healing, balancing number. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on. So this deck here, I will get an overall love energy for you and whoever you're thinking of at this time in whatever connection that you are in. Scorpio, please spare it. What is the overall love energy like for Scorpio? The first part of September, please spare it. Thank you so much. What do they need to know? What is the love energy like? There we go. Let's see what we have. Oh, so we have number eight. No, well, number 20. A 20 reduces to two, which is usually two people coming together. It's a uh, partnership, it's union, people coming together in some way, shape or form. And then you have the eight of spades here, which is the eight of swords. So that can speak of mental uh, entrapment and being stuck in your own mind. But this is the path. So there's a new path opening for you, a new doorway where there's growth, abundance, the doves here, peace, harmony balance it's like the temple path there so let me just look up really quick here see if there's a message in here number 20 park so i believe it's about community um reunion retreat picnic crowds public events socializing kind of energy so, you know, this just could be about uh, maybe, you know, I, I see it almost as like a temple path, even though it's, it's a community socializing kind of card and, you know, meeting up in a social area, whether it's a park or something like that. Um, and that could be the case. So maybe you met your person uh, at a park or outside at an event, a concert. Or something like that um, 
or you may run into somebody the beginning of September in some sort of uh, just going you know in the park or if there's a gazebo in your local park and you're hanging out you may run into somebody you've never seen before um, it could be anything here so I, I don't know we'll see how that plays in <clears throat> but I see growth abundance I see peace and harmony I see emotions here with the waterfall here but someone's going to be stuck in their head with the eight of swords energy or there could be an air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius all right, so if you are, uh, if you do have a connection with somebody, this could maybe meeting up, you know, at the park just to hang out, say hi, catch up, or something like that. Okay, let's get one for you and one for your person. Oh, I just saw one flipped over here. So we'll take that for your person. All right, so one for you, how you are feeling about your person in this connection, and then one for them, how they're feeling about you. And this connection oh this is nice so this is about you know a gift this is definitely about love with the roses here it's about love emotions um, gift communication an invitation number nine can speak of you know uh, coming to the cycle of something the end of a cycle but you have the Queen of Swords here with the Queen of Spades so there's the air sign again so you definitely could be connecting with an air sign here, or you could have air in your chart, but you're feeling this connection. You know, you want some communication, you want to get together, you want an invitation, or you want to want to extend out an invita invitation. A uh, nine here, I think you're kind of tired of whatever energy this has been in, and you're ready for a new cycle to start, because nine, then 10 ending, and then one new beginning. And they're coming out as the owls here. So they may be somebody very smart and wise here. Um, and they may they may be thinking about sending you a message, maybe at nighttime. You know, you might all of a sudden unexpectedly receive like an email or instant message or something like late at night, you know, when the moon is full or the moon is out. And maybe it could be at midnight and you're like wow you know that was really unexpected you have the seven of diamonds so the seven of pentacles so that's earth energy so it's a very slow moving energy so maybe there's been a I, I got that feeling a period of um stagnancy between the two of you for a while here and maybe they're really realizing now you know they're wising up now realizing you know maybe i really need to send out a message here um, and then, you know, 12 is three, and that is about uh, reunion, um, coming together, celebrating, um, and that sort of energy. So let me just look up the owls here. I want to make sure um, we get the right message here. That is number 12. Owls, okay. Communication, yeah wisdom so I think this person is very wise you know they could be very wise or they're just wising up now to the fact that there truly is a connection here and that the, now is the time after a period of just waiting and waiting and waiting and not doing anything it's time now to take action and maybe they're realizing this with the new um, moon energy which is I'm not an astrologist I'm not in no way me in any way shape or form an expert with the moon <laughs> cycles and the moons and all that I read tarot, that's what I do, but with this last uh, moon cycle we just had, maybe they're just realizing, and I know it was a really big shift, um, maybe they just now know they wised up and there's been some sort of shift in them, and it's time to send out some communication after a period here of not taking any action, and you're waiting, you're waiting for that, the Queen of Swords energy, that truth, that clarity. And the communication or invitation or something coming in here. Hmm. You know, that is a gathering and meeting up and socializing. This um, park energy here. So let's, well, look at that. 24. Soulmate energy here coming together. See the swans coming together as one. 24. 24. Wow, look at that. I can't make this up. 24. 24. So, yep. And you do see the water here in the fountain. 
and then you see the swans in the water. So there's a lot of, you may bring a lot of healing and balancing energy to one another. There could be just a really strong soulmate, emotional love connection here. And then you have the Knight of Hearts, the Knight of Cups. So I think that stands for the Knight of Cups or the Page of Cups, either one. But, you know, coming forward with messages of love, um, emotions, feelings, invitations, communication, action forward. Yeah. So there definitely is a soulmate connection here. What's under that? Well, look what's under that is the sun energy. Happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, expansion, enlightenment. I feel like they've finally been enlightened with the moon energy. And now they're ready to have this new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles energy here. 31 force. They're ready for stability. And they're ready for a stable new beginning with you. Happy home and family sun, the most positive card in the deck with the sun. They're ready to bridge that gap that's been between the two of you. And uh, yeah, eight and three there is 11, two. Again, two people coming together as one. They're ready to cross that bridge and bridge that gap of stagnancy that's been between the two of you. Wow, Scorpio. So let's get some clarity here with the tarot, the Scorpio love. First part of September, the Scorpio spirit, please, in love, in this love connection. What does Scorpio need to know? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Thank you so much. Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, so let's clarify for you. Clarify for you. Let's get one for you, one for your person. So what do we have here? Well, there's the Knight of Cups, because that's your energy. And we have the Knight of Cups over here. So let's get one for them. Oh, we got the Tower for them. Okay, so let's clarify your Knight of Cups Ooh, with the Five of Wands. And with their Tower, we have the Knight of, or is that the Page? The Page of Swords. So, okay. So what I'm getting with this, just your energy here uh, with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but now we have fire energy with the Five of Wands. So, you know, this could be, you're, you're definitely in the energy here, and here's, you know, with the roses, with the offer, with the communication of a loving gesture, hey, let's meet up, let's go out, I like you, finally getting that, wanting that, receiving that, and here is that offer coming in with the Knight and the action coming in with it that you've been waiting for. And, you know, inner conflict here, or maybe there has been conflict between the two of you in the past, or this competition, either uh, some other people interested in them, or you just have inner conflict about this connection, not sure where it's going to go, where it's going to lead. So different energies with the five of wands there, that can be conflict, inner conflict, conflict between the two of you, or a competition, uh, others may be interested in them also, so however that resonates for you. And then connected to them, we have the tower. And this is Aries, but it doesn't have to be. And then we have the air again with the page of swords. So I feel like, I really do feel like they've had this big like epiphany and realization. I need to wisen up to this connection here because they've had that tower moment, that big smackdown in their head that said, wow, you know, I do believe this is my person. And this is like the truth of clarity with the tower, like, that clear conscious um, energy <clears throat> in their mind and their in their soul that like shook them to the core and said, "Wow, I think this is my soulmate. I think this is a true soulmate, and I need to get off my ass and stop just procrastinating with the seven of diamonds there." And you know, page of swords here that could be just sending out a message here with truth and clarity that you're waiting for over here, and you're conflicted, not knowing what the hell's going to happen. Um, you know, and you know, maybe they're keeping tabs on you online, uh, with this page of swords here, but definitely with that page of swords about the communication and the tower, they're ready to, you know, 
tell you what's going on and they've had that big that big shift within them that they need to now speak their truth and wisen up to this connection that's the energy i'm getting all right so let's see what the actual situation is for you scorpio for you scorpio you spirit what okay we'll get three one more communication there with the knight of wands connected to you two you've got two pay uh what note you got the knight of cups and now the page of wands so you're waiting for this and that's fire energy now associated to you so you're not only waiting for the loving gesture forward you're waiting for the passionate communication also from this person and this could actually be them also communicating with truth and clarity and also lots of passion scorpio what else all right, so we have the Four of Pentacles, and now we have the Page of Cups. So, wow, so we got the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Wow. So their energy here, here is the Page of Cups with the Page of Swords. And I had said they're ready to come forward and express how they feel with the Page of Cups. You know, that loving gesture forward, communication. Uh, invitation to meet up for a cup of coffee in the park or something like that to talk to just you know see what this connection is but the four pentacle energy now is connecting the two of you so I definitely feel like here's earth energy um, and they definitely have you on their mind because the page is also water and that's connected to them and you are a water sign and water came out as the energy which is about love emotions healing um, going with the flow kind of energy. So I think they're tied to going with the flow with that seven of pentacles with the owls here. You know, they're ready to come forward here. They've been struck by like Cupid's blast and they're like ready to speak their truth and wisen up. So I know I sound like I'm repeating here, but you know, the four of pentacles connecting the two of you is that stagnancy of nothing going on. You know, holding on to one another, the connection but holding back from one another. Again, you know, holding on, yet holding back from one another, if that makes sense. You know, nobody's making any moves here. Just a, like a very stuck kind of energy right now between the two of you. But we have a, a page over here and a page over here. So, I mean, both wanting to communicate, they, they want to communicate truth and love and emotion, and you're waiting for that to come in, and you're wanting to also do that too, and also the passion. Oy. So over here, now we have the King of Wands. So there could be a fire sign. I mean, Aries is over here. Now this is Leo Sag Aries. Um, we got the air too. So could be just a lot of signs in the charts here or different people here dealing with different signs. But uh, King of Wands energy here connecting to you. So, you know, you're definitely wanting them to step up to the plate here. And be that strong, passionate leader. Take this, take uh, that action towards you with excitement, passionate, go-getter, stepping up to the plate kind of energy. All right, so let's get another clarifier. So the Three of Cups. So there you go. Water energy of reuniting, rejoicing, celebrating, coming together in the park for a cup of coffee. And I just said that. <laughs> So, you know, they definitely may say, hey, let's meet up, let's grab a drink, let's, you know, socialize, let's catch up, let's see where this goes, let's just, you know, talk, or, you know, whatever here. All the energy is here. All right, so let's get your advice, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. What is your advice in this connection? What is Scorpio's advice? And this connection you both want the same thing you both want to come forward to one another and express love and passion but nobody's doing anything with the four of pentacles just kind of very stubborn stuck kind of energy all right all right so you have the magician so you know you may have to manifest this connection so for your advice, we have the Magician and the Three of Wands. So more fire energy. And then the Magician is Gemini Virgo. Uh, but, you know, manifesting this new beginning. You know, truth, clarity, passion, love, 
uh, communication, uh, stability. But the three wants is, you know, wanting to go in the new direction, but there's a period of waiting for the right time. So seeing this new direction out into the distance, it's there, you want it, but there's a period of waiting. So you may have to wait a little bit longer before manifesting this uh, connection for some reason. I don't know. So let's clarify why is this energy here. So we have the Nine of Swords. Wow, we have the King of Swords. So Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety. And then the King of Swords, you know, here's that air energy again. Someone who's very... Um, it's very smart and logical. Uh, it speaks with a lot of truth, honesty, clear-cut communication. So you may be nervous. They may be nervous about, uh, or this is your advice. So you may be nervous about how to communicate, take control, communicate to this person, um, cut, cut out any energy not serving the connection, um, standing up for yourself. So you may be scared about standing up to this person and speaking your truths about the connection, what you want, what you desire, how you feel, what you want from them, asking them how they feel, and that sort of energy. So you may have a lot of stress and anxiety about that. Like, how do I do this? You know, I feel like I need to before I lose them. And I feel like they're in the same energy also, in a way. But uh, this is telling you to manifest this connection but maybe, you know, this waiting is just to wait until you're in the right mindset where you feel like really strong and confident about uh, how to approach them. So until you feel strong and confident and you're clear minded and you don't have so much stress and anxiety, then you can manifest by doing what you think you should do. If you should reach out to them, you know, maybe you're the one that has to say, hey, let's meet up, you know. But when you feel it's the right time here, then you can manifest uh, this new beginning with this person or this connection somehow. Even if it's just meeting up for coffee, meeting in the park or whatever here. So let's get one for your possible outcome. So now we have the, this is the King of Cups. So this is your energy. So this is your energy. So yeah, you. I feel like you may be the one here to step forward to this person once you're, and I, and I had just said that when you feel like you're in your power and you're strong and confident enough to face this person and actually tell them how you feel and that whole nine yards here. And this is your energy of that king of cups, king or queen. So the outcome is, I think when you feel confident, confident enough to do so, you will approach them. But you have to get out of the stress and anxiety energy first and overcome that before you can speak your truth and clarity to this person. So let's get more clarity on that. So we have the two of swords. Yep. And the four of wands. Wow. So, you know, the two of swords, energy, air energy, again, indecisiveness, nervous and scared. I can't decide on how to approach this person. I don't know what to say. A lot of confusion and decisiveness nervousness uh, kind of energy but you do have the four of wands here so this is pe two people coming together as some sort of commitment it's very stable it's a home type of environment now I'm not saying you're gonna be like married this is the marriage card uh, also the twin flame card um, but this does speak of a happy home happy committed home life marriage um, in some way, shape, or form, or just going to a higher level. So again, I do feel indecisiveness here. I don't feel like it's about the connection. I feel like it's about the approach to the connection. So it's like, how do I approach to this situation to get this with this person? So until you figure that out and get out of your own mind, and uh, get out of that nervous, anxious energy, and you feel strong and confident enough to manifest that in your own power, then go for it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Scorpio. So there's judgment. Yep, and there's your energy, Scorpio. So making that final judgment call, you know, when you feel it's the right time for you, 
making that final decision. And this is the angel. Gabriel brings the two soulmates together. And I do feel, so we have the soulmates over here with the two, two swans there. I do feel like this is soulmate energy. And, you know, this is resurrecting the soulmate energy. You know, what was written for you before this, before your physical life on this earth was already uh, judged out for you. You know, the judgment here. So you will you will make a decision, decision judgment call on this connection on when is the right time for you to approach this person or if they approach you, how you want to proceed with them, communicate to them. Or whatever here so we have death here wow two two <laughs> Scorpio Scorpio Wow death here so this speaks of ending of old ways ending of things and uh, transforming and resurrecting and rebirth regeneration the growth of something new so and the hangman, yeah, Pisces, Cancer Pisces. So I do feel like things are stagnant and are, in, and are in limbo right now. So there needs to be the death here to the stagnancy between the two of you. The emperor now. Somebody needs to, Aries, needs to take control of the situation. And you got the nine of pentacles. So, you know, uh, earth energy. So you both could be actually be single, stable, secure, confident on your own. But you both want this new start with each other, with the fool energy here. You both want to take this leap of faith, Aquarius energy here, and just jump right in. And now we have Taurus with the Hierophant, and there's the commitment again. So there is a potential here of a committed relationship with the Hierophant. And taking that leap of faith for a brand new start. You both are stable and secure and grounded, both on your own. So somebody needs to take charge, control of this connection. Needs to be a death, death here of the stagnant energy. And making that judgment call to do so, to take the right steps in this connection. So, Scorpio, I do see all the energy here of a soulmate connection. Whether you decide to come forward to this person or you wait for them. As you have the three of wands, so you could be waiting. You know, that your advice could be to wait for them to manifest this, to come to you. Um, if you feel like whatever they're going through, if that's the right thing to do. Or if you feel like you need to take a step forward here when you feel like you're able to do so. When you feel strong, confident enough, then you can move forward to this person. But all the soulmate energy is here for the two of you, whoever you're connecting with. We have all the signs here, so, I mean, it could be anybody But I'm picking up because we did have the air over here that they could be an air sign or uh, a fire sign. All right, so what advice and guidance do we have? It's too many for Scorpio and this connection. What advice? So we have channeling. Advice and guidance do we have for Scorpio? So we have channeling, which is number three here. So let me just look that up really quick. I mean, channeling to me is people that who are divinely connected, who like read tarot like I do, or they're mediums or something like that. So let me see here. Um, yeah, experience your stream of consciousness. So it is about... Um, you know, tuning into, you know, the divine energy to source and channeling that energy. So that may be just a separate message for some of you. And maybe you could even be connecting with each other in like 5D and channeling each other's energy. And then we have manifestation. Wow. And we had uh, the magician here. So, and then we have 25, which is seven which is a, a very divinely uh, spiritual number. So this connection can be manifested, whether it's you or them taking the first step in this connection. 
And I definitely feel like here you could be on the same vibration with them, have the same type of energy. You could be channeling each other's energy, maybe not even knowing, not even, not even knowing that you're doing that. Three, three again there about reunion, coming together, celebrating, um, meeting up, socializing. Anything else for Scorpio? Authentic truth. Wow. Four. And that's stability. That's foundation. Also the twin flame number again. Authentic truth. So there needs to be a lot of truth and clarity in this connection. And somebody needs to come forward because we do have the king of swords here. We have the page of swords there. Uh, the two of swords about the confusion. not People not knowing the truth. Um, yep. So there definitely needs to be... Um, a lot of truthful communication had between the two of you and authentic authenticity also between the two of you so then we have sensitivity and there's the red rose that was in your energy so maybe you're a very sensitive person and maybe that's why you have a lot of this nervous anxious energy about them the connection um and then we have six which is about healing 15 six healing balance so and there's the red rose again so, and then under that we have let go. So I feel like, and then nine, which is the uh, coming, again, coming to the end of a cycle. So there can be a new cycle. So I feel like this stagnant energy here needs to end between the two of you. Letting go, letting go of your nervous, anxious energy or insecurities that you may have. Even though I feel like you're very sensitive here. And that could be just a lot of love and emotions and feelings towards this person also. And you're waiting for their offer here with the Red Rose. You're waiting for some sort of, um, you know, invitation or, you know, they could be giving you roses too when you meet up with them. They could give you a Red Rose also. And then you see, I just noticed here, let go is, looks like the Ace of Swords. So again, that sword of truth and clarity uh, the Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning with that truth, clarity, uh, cutting away things, not serving the connection, standing up for the connection, um, and that sort of energy. Clear cut communication also. All right, Scorpio. So I just see that there needs to be communication, authenticity in this connection. Um, somebody needs to make the first move to start to manifest this connection, I definitely feel soulmate, even possible twin flame energy here. And I've been getting that a lot for your readings. So somebody needs to make the first move. Okay, Scorpio, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Um, I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. And... Uh, Check below playlists if this did not resonate for you. You may find something uh, that may resonate for you there. I do consider them all timeless. So disregard the dates. If you catch a title that uh, resonates for you, I'd say watch it anyway. So good luck to you here. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. As I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.